Equipping Reliable Leaders in Sound Doctrine. Item. In challenging economic times like these, shouldn't there be a mission agency that seeks to be careful with your investment, that trains men and women in their own country to reach their own countrymen with the gospel, that is practicing our Lord's great commission to make disciples all over the world. There is. It's called International Theological Education Ministry. Item. Here is what Dr. John Lewis has to say about his experience teaching for item about the opportunities and students in Kiev, Ukraine at Kiev Regional Bible College. Having taught courses on James and ethics at Kiev Regional Bible College for the last five years, I can describe firsthand what a tremendous privilege it is to discuss essential doctrines of our church with these students. Doctrines such as God's sovereignty, our eternal security, and the unmerited grace of our loving God. Their keen minds are anxious to see how these truths are confirmed and reaffirmed in Scripture. They spend long hours studying God's Word, preparing to serve Him. Would you consider joining with us in this vital work of preparing the next generation to minister in one of the largest and most antagonistic mission fields in the world, the former Soviet bloc? Here's what Reverend Will Hesterberg, pastor of Concord Presbyterian Church, has to say about the work at Maranatha Bible College in Romania. In 1996, a businessman from St. Louis while working in Romania met a Romanian pastor with a vision. Pastor Ian Vasili had a vision to bring the gospel to the city of Capina, located about an hour and a half from Bucharest, Romania's capital. Item was asked to assist in training and responded by sending pastors, professors who taught the leaders of his church. Soon, Pastor Eon's elders began preaching, teaching, and gathering believers in other communities, and eventually there were four more fledgling churches. From these five groups of believers came several dozen students of various ages to Maranatha Bible College, housed at the Mother Church in Capena. Ten years later, many who were trained by item at Maranatha Bible College began sharing their faith, starting Bible studies, and planting mission churches among the Romanian immigrants in many other countries of the European Union, particularly Italy and Spain. In the right season, item planted the seeds in Romania that sprouted into a harvest ten years later in Italy and Spain. Here's what Dr. Warren Lammers, pastor of Christian Reformed Church in Kalamazoo, Michigan, has to say about his teaching experience in Tumen. Item Board asked me to help form a partnership of assistance with a Presbyterian Christian group in Western Siberia, Russia. After struggling for 20 years with rented facilities in a basement, the Footprints International Mission was able to erect a multi-purpose building to house the Tumen Bible College, the Holy Trinity Presbyterian Church, a college library, cafeteria, and culture center with outreach tools including crisis pregnancy and alcohol and drug addiction counseling. After starting this college in 2002 with items encouragement and with my designing their curriculum for both a two-year certificate and a four-year degree, they have held three or four sessions per year now for the past 10 years. In 2002, I taught their initial courses in hermeneutics. In May 2011, I taught homiletics. The student body has both seminarians and many less intense college-level students but there is no other school in this vast area of Siberia teaching Reformed theology. Next, Reverend Tom Smith, a longtime supporter of Idaho, 
whose wife Anna is a native Croatian, has felt God calling him to return to his wife's homeland and community to begin training servants there. In 2010, as I had a missionary, I traveled to Croatia with my wife Anna and began a relationship with PRKC Superintendent Dr. Milik. I was invited to assist the PRKC denomination working with the church planters in Zagreb and preached and taught in English during 2010 and 2011 trips. I plan to do more teaching with the PRKC's Mihail Staran Theology School as in spring 2012 when I taught an introductory course on the New Testament in Zagreb. Anna will continue her involvement in women's ministries, mercy, outreach, and wherever needed. Finally, another exciting new opportunity arose in 2011. Members of ITEM's Executive Committee met with the Reverend Ken Tom Bean, a graduate of Covenant Seminary and a church planter with the Presbyterian Church in India Reformed. Reverend Tom Bean told them of the great need for more training of Indian pastors, elders, and other workers in Northeast India where the PCIR is concentrated. Reverend Will Hesterberg traveled and taught there last year and found a vibrant young denomination of about 20,000 with a vision to reach all of India. Here's what Reverend Ryan Laughlin has to say about his recent trip there to teach. Our church in St. Louis has supported the gospel work of two PMI missionaries in their native city of Lamka, Manipur for many years. So when invited, I was eager to see for myself what I had heard so much about over the years. Half of our time was spent visiting various ministries that have developed, and the other half was spent with 12 pastors and their wives who had gathered from the surrounding villages as much as 100 miles away for pastoral training and mutual encouragement. Teaching in a different culture presents various challenges when teaching on biblical roles within a family. In India, culturally child raising is often associated with angry and harsh discipline. Equipped with this knowledge, I focused a class on modeling our parentings after God's fatherly care, paying special attention to passages like Psalms 103, 13 and Ephesians 6, 4. 